Professor, will you join me? There's something I must do. It will take a few days, but I promise we'll be back in time for the ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It's meant to be a secret, but I'm going to Enbar, the Imperial capital. There is something I must do there. Thank you, my teacher. Father, forgive me for asking this of you. I know how much pain you're in, how the burden of the throne weighs heavily on you, and so... There is no need to apologize, Edelgard. You must know <laughs> that I do not have much time left in this world. The time has come. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Now, to complete the Imperial succession, you must relinquish your crown here in the throne room. The Archbishop of the Church of Saros would normally act as witness, but my professor will fill that role instead. Fatal card. From this day forward, the weight of the Empire's future shall rest upon my shoulders. All that I do will be for the benefit of the people of Fodlan. Edelgard von Hesvelg, the crown is yours. By the covenant between the red blood and the white sword, and by the double-headed eagle upon your head, I hereby pronounce you the new emperor. Are you prepared to take those responsibilities as your own? In accordance with the ancient covenant, and in keeping with the Hresfeld legacy, I swear that upon this throne, I shall use my reign to lead Fodlan to a new dawn and achieve peace for all. The Imperial succession is complete. <laughs> my daughter. I regret that I could not do more for you. When you were stolen away to the kingdom, when the Prime Minister did those horrible things, I could only watch in horror. I... I understand, Father. In those dark times, your eyes and your fists were my salvation. Within your eyes, I saw true care. And upon your fists, clenched tight with indignity, I saw the blood that dripped and fell. Even as I bled, I felt that you too must also be bleeding. Your Majesty, you must not leave your sleeping chambers in your condition. Ah, Edelgard, I did not expect to find your highness here. Prime Minister, you have misspoken. I am no longer your highness, but rather your Majesty. Impossible! It is true. Edelgard is the new emperor of the Adrestian Empire. We will summon the officials <coughs> and prepare an ordinance at once. And you, Prime Minister, are dismissed. It will be some time before you are allowed to make contact with the outside world again. No! How can this be? I... <clears throat> understood, your majesty. Fatal card. My dear L. I leave the fate of Fodlin <coughs> in your capable hands. Father. Thank you for staying by my side, Professor. Now that I'm the Emperor, it's time to grasp my destiny. After the ceremony at the Holy Tomb, I must return to Enbar. This may be the last we see of each other. We are out of time, my teacher. Everyone is waiting for us. We must go. I am grateful.
Are you surprised, Professor? This is the Holy Tomb. To think that there was such a vast space beneath the monastery all this time. It's hard to imagine that any of these enormous contraptions are of this world. This is where the goddess who created this world was laid to rest, along with her children. It is said that our creator, the goddess Sothis, sat upon this very throne. Professor, do you recognize this throne? So long. I have waited so very long for this day. Sit upon the throne. I have no doubt you will be gifted a revelation from the goddess. Well? It was supposed to be but a step away. What could possibly be missing? Stop right there! <laughs> Don't move, any of you. If you move, your lives will be forfeit. Thank you ever so much for guiding us this far. The Imperial Army will now take possession of everything in the Holy Tomb. <laughs> What's the Imperial Army doing here? Wait, does he work for the Flame Emperor? So the Flame Emperor is connected to the Empire. I never thought that possible. Edelgard, did you know about this? Yes. In fact, I gave the order. I am the Flame Emperor. I guess that's the end of play at school, Lady Edelgard. I mean, your majesty. Get to work, everyone. The Crest Stones belong to us now. And take those filthy bones, too. Insolence! You will atone for the sin of trampling on this holy resting place. Professor, destroy these villainous traitors who dare dishonor our creator! Wait, what's the meaning of this, Edelgard? You... made use of us? Why? I'm sorry, my teacher. I cut this path, and now I must follow it. My friends, I ask that all of you stay back. It is not my intention to fight you. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresbelk, I command you to collect the Crest Stones. If anyone attempts to stop us, kill them. I will not allow such violence from the Empire. Strike down the rebels and protect the Holy Tomb. The Crest Stones are in the caskets. Open every last one of them. The Holy Tomb must not be desecrated. Protect as many of the Crest Stones as you can. My cue.
Stay focused. Ready. I will get the victory. I'm on it. Oh no. I'll go. what I was after. Too easy. Worthless. You're weak. Leave it to me. I just worked harder. Here we go. Take away every- That is enough! Do you even know what those stones are? Another win. Let the lesson begin. You fought well. Thank you. Stay focused. That is that. Ready. I'm on it. I will get the victory. I will win! 
One more success. Leave it to me. Of course I won. That one is expected. I'll go. Too slow. <laughs> Foolish.
As expected. Feel the difference. You make me feel safe. I owe you one. It's just not my day. Pride. We have this covered. Let's win this already. what I had to. You saved me. I aim for greatness. This is what I do.
Another win. Over already? Each battle, a chance to grow. All roses have thorns. I thank you. Next time, bring your friends. Yeah. Should I have held back? Thank you. Not quite what I was after. Be gone. One more success.
outmatched. <laughs> I'm told it's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, how shall I cook you? Torture them! orders. I just... Professor, I will make no excuses. Thank you for all that you did for me. In truth, no. Let's leave it at that. So, the end has come. You have disappointed me, Edelgard. To think that a descendant of House Heresmelk would dare betray the Holy Church. So, it is my teacher who stands in my way. I always knew it would come to this. Professor, kill Edelgard at once. She is a danger to all of Fodlan. Such a rebellious heart cannot be allowed to keep beating. Dare 
are you? My teacher? I... Thank you. But are you certain that... No. Now isn't the time for discussion. Words cannot properly express my gratitude, Professor. So, this is the choice you have made. You are just another failure. Your presence soils this holy tomb and disgraces my brethren. I will not allow one who would lend our enemies strength to wield the power of the goddess Sothis. I have passed judgment, and now I shall rip your chest open and take back your heart myself! <laughs> that must be the Immaculate One. Yes. The monsters that have controlled Bodlin in secret for far too long. Rhea is their leader. There is no time to waste. Your Majesty, Professor, we must escape while we can. Part 1. White Clouds. Lone Moon. Outset of a Power Struggle. Together, the people of Fodlin relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike, but each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky, a silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. Uh, we somehow managed to escape. This is one of the Imperial Army's provisional camps. Here we can organize our forces. Before we go any further, I want all of you to really ask yourselves if you're certain you wish to join us. As expected, Flane has chosen to leave our ranks. When I saw our professor running off, I ran about as fast as I could to catch up. Caspar, death finds those who run without thinking. You gave no thought to the Warfog. My grandfather was the leader of Bridget and I hope for us to be allies with the Empire. I will be staying. Was this a good idea? Did I make the right choice? Oh, but my family is part of the Empire, and our professor is here. You're fine here with us, Bernie. Though it's true certain houses were against the Imperial Princess. I assume you're referring to my family. I must believe that the conclusion I came to was the correct one. You are the Emperor now. I am the only one left who is qualified to guide you at this point. I'm only here because I know it would be troublesome to stand against you. I'm not just here for you, Aidy. I'm here to follow our dear Professor. Of course, I don't have any territory to offer, so Hubie may not even want me here. The greater our numbers, the better. Your reasons for being here are of no consequence. I think I understand where you're coming from. But now, I wish to hear of your resolve. Like you, I have risen to meet my destiny. I cut this path, and I will see it through to the end. Following me is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself. One misstep, and we fall to our ruin. You have now witnessed the Archbishop's true self. She is a cruel beast. Those who rule this world use that beast's power to fabricate miracles. All to control those who blindly believe in the Goddess. They conceal the truth and force their lies on the nobility. They mercilessly annihilate anyone who defies them. I know this because I have lived it. After what you have seen, is there any room for doubt? The Church of Seros has great influence and power. Their control over the Lords of the Kingdom and the Alliance is nearly absolute. We are the only ones who can stop this indomitable enemy that has plagued our world for ages. We fight for humanity. 
for all of Fodlin. If you dare walk this path with me, take your first step. It's now or never. Thank you, my friends. We are the true face of the Empire, and we will triumph! That was incredible, Lady Edelgard. Thank you. Honestly, I'm relieved. They really chose to follow me. I was resolved to move forward alone if I had to. But in my heart, I hoped it wouldn't come to that. So long as I am here, you will never be alone. Please do not forget that. And it would seem that the Professor also has a key role to play in this. You're right. Now, I must speak with our dear teacher. Please, make preparations. The messenger should be here shortly. Consider it done. Professor, may I speak with you? I appreciate it. I... <sighs> I'm just... Anxious. It feels like the weight of this burden is crushing me. At this very moment, on my orders, I'm starting a war. An army far larger than the one that attacked the Holy Tomb last month will soon be locked in battle. Long devised strategies are unfolding across Fodlin. Leaders are deciding their loyalties and preparing to fight. So many generals and soldiers will die. It's inevitable that civilians will get caught up in the chaos as well. There will be countless casualties. With a single command, the flames of war will rage across all corners of this realm. And I am the one who is giving the order. Yes, it is. There is no turning back. No matter how much blood flows at my feet, I will not relent. We must break the bonds that the depraved church has placed on Fodlin. These sacrifices will allow us to create a future where we never need sacrifice again. It may seem contradictory, but it's the only way. <laughs> Listen to me. I made up my mind long ago. Yet here I am, seeking your approval. Tell me the truth, my teacher. Are you happy with your decision to stay by my side? Unlike me, you can still walk away from all of this. This path leads to the death of the Archbishop and the servants of the Church. Can you live with that? I never thought... I'm sorry, it was a foolish question. I believe in you, Professor. And you believed in me. With that knowledge, I have the strength to keep fighting. Let's go. There's something I need to say to Hubert. Your Majesty. The latest report indicates that our main army is advancing as planned. Also, the preparations for your manifesto are almost complete. We will be distributing our manifesto to every lord within Fodlin. We will expose the dark side of the Church of Saros, and the foul practices of the nobles from the Kingdom and the Alliance. We will force the people of Fodlin to open their eyes to the truth, and relinquish any remaining conviction to unite against the Empire. Certain nobles have already offered us their support. Yes, there are other nobles who oppose the Church. We will condemn those who deserve condemnation, and forgive those who deserve forgiveness. We have already purged some of the Imperial nobles who are morally rotten. My father among them. How unfortunate. And soon we will invade and conquer Garrig Mach. Our main army has already departed the Imperial capital. They will arrive at the monastery in two weeks' time. There we will join forces with them. As for us, I'd like your opinion on how we should be positioned within the army. Your Majesty intends to fight alongside the Professor, correct? In that case, you will not be incorporated into the Empire's main army. Your squad can move freely about the battlefield under supervision of the Imperial forces. That would be most prudent. 
Now that I'm the Emperor, we can't let it slip that I'm following your command in battle, Professor. I fully object to the notion of you fighting on the front lines. Hubert, we've already discussed this. My apologies. I overstepped. Now that the details are settled, all that's left is to come up with a name for ourselves. In honor of our time at the Academy, how about we call ourselves the Black Eagle Strike Force? I'm so happy you feel that way. I must confess that I spent all night thinking about it. I'll leave it to you to prepare the Black Eagle Strike Force for departure. <laughs>